So let's say that J. Daniel Park, CEO of Park's Place Pencils, is employing the cost-minimizing combination of inputs. The assumption here is that J. Daniel Park is, is employing that cost-minimizing combination. So you assume that he's working his business as efficiently as possible here. The marginal product of labor is 60 pencils, so keep that in mind, and the wage rate is $15 per hour. Okay, so what you want to do is is uh, figure out you you have the the number for the for the human side of the of the business here. So the equation is going to be MPL over the wage rate equals MPK over the rental rate. Okay. Now we have the information here. So again, the the math. In, in these econ tests are not going to be ultra difficult. They might give you four numbers and they'll give you three of the numbers and they want you to find the fourth number. And, and very rarely are they going to give you numbers that are that are very difficult fractions. Once in a while, maybe with an elasticity problem, but for a problem like this, the numbers are probably going to be very nice and whole and round. So the NPL was 60 and the wage here was 15. And you're trying to find the uh, the MPK over the rental rate here. Now, so basically what you're seeing here is that 4 equals the MPK over the rental rate. So if, if that was the only information that was given, you can't find, you can find the ratio, which is 4 over 1, but you can't find the MPK or the rental rate. So you're going to predict that they're going to give you one or the other, and they're going to ask for the other. So you know, when, when you're attacking these problems here, uh, it, it might help to, to break it down marginally rather than reading in total, ra read it in marginal chunks. And, and you might be able to come up with a, a better uh, clue as to what, what the College Board is asking here. So in this case here, the marginal product of the machine is 100 widgets here. Um, or 100, you know, widgets, pencils, you know, same thing here. So 100 widgets per machine hour. So now we know the MPK is 100 here. Um, what is the hourly rental price of a machine? Again, assuming that they equal each other because that is a cost minimizing combination here. So now you're looking for the rental rate. Okay, let's label this as, as being K here. Okay, so now you have 4 equals 100 over K. So if we work this out naturally, then you get 4K equals 100. And you divide by 4, and you get a rental rate of $25. So again, chances are you might want to employ some, some capital and some labor, but the, the cost minimizing rule for input is going to be where the marginal product of labor over the wage rate equals the marginal product of capital over the rental rate. Thank you for watching Educator.com.